Good afternoon everyone, it's Francis and here is the um, image that I captured uh, showing at most uh, a definition of something that caught my eye. I know that the asteroid is pixelated and I'm making it even more pixelated as I'm, I'm trying to show you what's going on but I put it in the image software and we're going to take a look at what I'm looking at. And basically what I'm looking at is this area right here and I have six images here and I'm going to see what I can do. The other six images just so show some different uh, ways to look at this one spot. You'll see what caught my eye was this one brighter spot on this horizon of a lighter area and a darker area. It looks like there's a radiating line out there and it even looks like there's a radiating line um, out the other sides. But again if you look around everything's cornered, pixelated, pixelated. There's also something uh, that I caught over here but I don't know what it is and I really haven't started looking at it yet because I'm focusing on here. The reason why I'm looking at the asteroid YU55 the way I am is because NASA said they saw some <coughs> some structures on there so I'm making an observation and this is what I saw. But again look everything is pixelated. About the size of this pyramid that I'm looking at we have large pixelated areas that you can see edges there. Now they change uh, from one image to the next, but I'm just going to highlight this one because this is the area we're looking at most. And I'm going to start adjusting it. And I don't know what's going to show up, so, and, but you see it's very pixelated. And this is the area here, this high spot here. And now in the next frame, this spot down here gets really bright and picks up a, a real bright signal. But I'm going to, that's bright. And that's going through it. So I'm just, we're just going to look at it together through these different methods. And I want to change, the, I think I can change the color. No, I can't change the color. It's a color image. I thought I was going to get reds and stuff. Let's do a reversed. At least we'll do what we can do. And then we're going to try to find, let me see a high spot here. See, it's definitely a higher spot, or at least it's a, a bigger return. And you have a squareness behind it, very pixelated. I mean, who's gonna, who's, who's to say that this is any different than this spot or that spot or that spot? But we're looking. This area over here looks like there's some elevation. As the asteroid's turning counterclockwise, this face, uh, this crater gets illuminated, and this crater sort of gets illuminated. And this, which is a high structure over here, looks kind of interesting. I'm gonna auto adjust this back. Uh, let's go. I thought I was going to get my colors, but see, this is this is showing colors. So, and again, that's a color reversal. I see my my astronomical images. I have more uh, options and colors by the looks of it to run this through. I was hoping I would run it through a red, but I don't think I'm going to be able to unless no, I don't. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So what I was looking at was this right here. This area here had a point at top, and it, it's it's you know as everything else is going into the shadows here, this this area here sticks out. And then in the next frame, let's see what happens if I open up another frame. Uh, the, the next frame is it three? Okay, this is the next frame here. And you can see now that the the pyramid shape has sort of disappeared. The high point hasn't, but we get a a bright spot here. That's where I really saw this area here, and then the next frame was there and this high spot shows up but still looks like a mound still looks like it could be a, a, a raised area and again here's this other structure over here that's showing up as it's uh, rotating let's take a look at that structure that looks a little bit more I mean that looks pretty but again this look how pixelated everything is look how pixelated everything is and this is the frame see and look at that this is the frame after that frame where it doesn't really show up but now 
my pyramid shape sort of shows up. Let's auto adjust, see what that does for us. I get us back. And this shape is showing up. And then the next frame is this one. Let's go open up another frame. This is the really pix this this is the pixelated frame, and I really don't. And this is the one before the 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 a shot before. We'll go ahead and X that out. I got two and three. Where's the? This is the. This is the first image in the run. So it goes from here. This is what shows up first. See, this is again. This is a bright spot right there, which signifies a high spot and then this spot's going to rotate but it doesn't look like a pyramid in any way I and mean, you don't see any of the other object over here that's interesting but this is uh rotating now toward us or down toward the shadows and then uh two is the one it goes from that bright spot to that bright spot to that bright spot this spot Okay, so that's the area of interest, and this little hockey stick over here too. But my first view was of this was was of this. That's that's what caught my eye with that lighter tip, and it, like I said, it it looked like uh, Kama Ellen sort of to me that that tetrahedron with the CME. I see it's kind of off shape, and you can see how pixelated everything is, and let's get really bad off with it there. Let's see what we see. That's bad. So we have all these what I would guess are high spots too. Very pixelated. But I just got this angle across. This is what gets me is I, I'm seeing an angular across this square. Everything is bright, bright, in squares, in squares, in squares. I get a triangle shape here which there it is. I mean, that's the that's the next frame where this little light up here shows up in what would be, you know, it seems like a, a, a crater. This this point shows up. And this isn't reflective. This is radar, so I, I, I don't know what it means. Um, I'll adjust this back because this is where I saw it. All right, that's some explanation of what I was looking at with these photos. I thought I'd be able to do a red. I thought I'd be able to do colors, but the image was already a color, so I, I don't have all the enhancement tools. Uh, I just have the grayscale to work with. So that's it. I think that's going to that's gonna be my observation. I'm going to let it hang out like that and see what happens. Okay, we'll see you later.